Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the preceding video, we discussed the structural features of tetracyclines. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of antibiotics and medicinal chemistry, click on the links given in the description below this video. In this video, we shall learn the structure activity relationships and the mechanism of action of tetracyclines. Let us try to understand the structure activity relationships with respect to the substituents that are possible to present on the tetracycline and their derivatives. C1 substituents. The ketoenol system of the ring A is indispensable for antibacterial activity. No variation at the C1 position has been successful or reported so far and this position is regarded as intolerable to modification. C2 substituents. The carboxamide moiety is present in most naturally occurring tetracyclines and this group is crucial for antibacterial activity. It is best that the amide group is unsubstituted at the nitrogen atom but monosubstitution is acceptable if in the form of activated alkyl amino methyl amides often known as managed bases. Larger alkyl substituents are likely to be too lipophilic to penetrate into gram-negative bacteria, the monosubstituted tertiary butyl amide displays gram-positive activity but is essentially inactive against gram-negative organisms. Larger alkyl groups may alter the normal ketoenol equilibrium of the C1, C2, C3 conjugated system and thus diminishes inherent antibacterial activity. The replacement of the C2 carboxamido group with that of a simple methyl ketone retains some antibacterial activity. But this is weak in comparison to the parent tetracycline. Dehydration of the carboxamide to the corresponding nitrile results in loss of activity and again electronic factors as well as the loss of the carbonyl moiety are likely to be responsible for this phenomenon. The tetracycline C2 position is limited with regard to structure activity relationship. C3 substituents. In conjunction with the C1 position, the ketoenol conjugated system is imperative for antibacterial activity and no variations at the C3 center have been reported. C4 substituents. The naturally occurring tetracyclines contain an alpha C4 dimethyl amino substituent that favorably contributes to the ketoenol character of the A ring. Beta C4 epimers are inferior derivatives. Epimerization at the C4 position is problematic at the acidic pH, particularly with the C5 unsubstituted tetracyclines oxytetracyclines that is C5 hydroxylated are more resistant due to intramolecular hydrogen bonding. Chelocardin possesses a beta C4 amine substituent that has an inverted configuration relative to the tetracyclines. Chelocardin is obtained from a different source that is nocardia species than the tetracyclines and unlike tetracyclines is more potent against gram-negative bacteria than gram-positive organisms. Quaternization of the C4 dimethyl amino group disposes the tetracycline to a variety of nucleophilic substitutions. For example, various amines have been introduced at the C4 position. The trend indicates that small C4 amino moieties are preferred and the dimethyl amino group remains optimal although other variations for example ethyl methyl amino and diethyl amino substituents are active. In addition to steric size, a key feature that appears to be operative with the C4 substituents is that of appropriate basicity. Replacement of the dialkyl amine group with a hydrozone, oxime or hydroxy group leads to pronounced loss of activity, probably due to increase in heteroatom basicity. Tetracyclines with quaternary C4 amines are also susceptible to intramolecular ketal formulation or elimination. C4A substituents the alpha hydrogen at C4A position of the tetracyclines is necessary for useful antibacterial activity. The dactylocyclines are structurally related natural products that have an alpha hydroxyl group at the C4A position. These compounds are in newer tetracyclines and are yet to be developed. C5 substituents. 
Many naturally occurring antibacterial tetracyclines have an unsubstituted methylene moiety at the C5 position. However, oxytetracycline, the second tetracycline isolated, contains a C5 alpha hydroxyl group. Oxytetracycline is not only a potent derivative, but the functionality at the C5 position has been chemically modified to prepare some semi-synthetic tetracyclines. Unfortunately, most C5 variants offer no advantage over oxytetracycline or the C5 unsubstituted tetracyclines, for example tetracycline itself, in terms of enhancing or expanding upon the antibacterial spectrum. Alkylation of the C5 hydroxyl group results in loss of activity. Ester formation is only acceptable if the free oxytetracycline can be liberated in vivo, only small alkyl esters are useful. The C5 formyl ester of oxytetracycline is noteworthy in that absorption is improved although activity is attributed to the parent C5 hydroxytetracycline. Simple alkyl ester derivatives may retain some weak inherent activity but larger ester derivatives are inactive. C5A substituents The configuration of the naturally occurring tetracyclines places the C5A hydrogen atom in an alpha configuration. Epimerization is detrimental to antibacterial activity and thus there has been little reason to explore this position. Dehydrotetracyclines, which are derivatives in which the C5A center is sp2 hybridized and part of a double bond to either the C5 or C6 position are inferior antibacterials. C6 substituents. The C6 position is tolerant for a variety of substituents. The majority of tetracyclines have an alpha methyl group and a beta hydroxyl group at this position. Demeclocycline is a naturally occurring C6 demethylated chlorotetracycline with an excellent activity. Thus, the C6 methyl group contributes little to activity of the tetracycline family as a whole, although its presence does increase lipophilicity somewhat. Similarly, the C6 hydroxyl group also appears to offer little in terms of antibacterial activity. Removal of this group affords doxycycline, which is a superb antibacterial agent. Tetracyclines that lack a C6 hydroxyl group possesses some advantages compared to their counterparts in that these compounds are generally more stable and more lipophilic in nature. Nevertheless, both demeclocycline and doxycycline are marketed agents. Interestingly, the dactylocyclines have both C6 methyl and C6 hydroxyl substituents present but in reversed stereochemistry compared to the tetracycline series. An important discovery pertaining to C6 substituents was realized with the synthesis and subsequent investigation of the corresponding methylenotetracyclines. The prototype is methacycline, the C6 exomethylene substituent is surprisingly stable under physiological conditions and this group is also amenable to chemical modifications. For the most part, addition reactions across the double bond have produced some interesting derivatives. For example, mercapton addition has afforded some active C6 alkyl thiomethyl tetracyclines. Other groups have been added onto the exomethylene moiety. In general, small alkyl moieties are preferred. Larger groups such as bulky alkyl or simple aryl moieties are weak against gram-negative bacteria although significant gram-positive activity can be retained. As with C4 and C5 substituents, increased hydrocarbon size probably diminishes penetration into the gram-negative organisms. Halogens have been introduced at the C6 position and the alpha chloro and alpha fluoro analogues are superior to their epimeric counterparts. However, these modifications offer no advantage in terms of potency and remain an academic interest only. C7 substituents. The C7 substituents have been explored with some outstanding success. Naturally occurring chlorotetracycline has a C7 chloro substituent and was the first member of the tetracycline family to gain widespread use in antibacterial chemotherapy. The first successful semi-synthetic C7 derivative was tetracycline itself which was produced from chlorotetracycline although tetracycline is also a naturally occurring tetracycline. 
other C7 unsubstituted analogues such as oxytetracycline soon followed. The nature of the aromatic D-ring of the tetracyclines predisposes the C7 position to electrophilic substitution and nitro and halogen groups have been introduced. Some C7 nitro tetracyclines are among the most potent of all tetracyclines in vitro. Despite their promising potency, these agents have not been pursued as market candidates for a number of reasons. As nitrated aromatic compounds are potentially toxic and carcinogenic. Halogenated derivatives such as the C7-bromo, fluoro and iodotetracyclines are less active. Unfortunately, a competing reaction plagues the introduction of most C7 substituents. The C9 position is similarly activated towards electrophilic substitution by the electron donating properties of the C10 phenolic moiety. The C7 acetoxy, azido and hydroxy tetracyclines have been introduced through the intermediacy of a diazonium species and these derivatives are inferior in terms of antibacterial activity. The reduction of C7 nitro tetracyclines to the corresponding C7 amino tetracyclines is a key transformation in this approach. Although simple C7 amino tetracyclines are extremely weak in terms of potency, reductive alkylation has afforded very potent C7 dialkyl amino derivatives. This important breakthrough culminated in the development of minocycline, which is the last tetracycline to be marketed. Minocycline remains a dominant tetracycline in part due to its superior potency as well as its activity against tetracycline resistant organisms. Larger alkyl amino groups at C7 position result in decreased antibacterial activity reminiscent of the C4 dialkyl amino moiety. C8 substituents the tetracycline C8 position is generally unreactive and total synthetic approaches have been impractical. Accordingly, this position has remained unexplored. The dactylocyclines have a methoxyl group at this position. C9 substituents The C9 modifications have followed in parallel with those at C7 in that aromatic electrophilic substitution has been utilized extensively. Consequently, the same substituents that have been incorporated at the C7 position have also been introduced at C9 for the most part. However, the C9 position is somewhat less reactive towards electrophiles as a result of electronic and steric factors caused by the presence of the C10 phenol moiety. In many cases, both C7 and C9 isomers are produced under reaction conditions and must be painstaking separated. Oxytetracyclines are particularly problematic in electrophilic substitution reactions which introduce either a C7 or C9 substituent. Although similar in chemical reactivity towards electrophiles, the C7 and the C9 positions are not identical with respect to antibacterial activity. A few noteworthy examples exist which highlight the impact of substituent placement upon the D-ring. For example, C9 amino that is a 6 desmethyl 6 deoxy tetracycline is an extremely potent analog while the corresponding C7 isomer is a poor antibacterial agent. Conversely, the C9 nitro that is a 6 desmethyl 6 deoxy tetracycline is inferior to the potent C7 nitro tetracycline analog. Despite the exceptional activity of minocycline, the corresponding C9 dimethyl amino tetracycline analog is essentially inactive. The most significant breakthrough has been the acylation of the C9 amino group to afford the potent glycyl tetracyclines. In summary, as with the C7 substituents, the most potent C9 analogues contain electron withdrawing moieties, although there are exceptions depending upon the other substituents. C10 substituents. The C10 phenolic moiety is absolutely necessary for antibacterial activity. There have been few attempts to modify this position because of difficulties with the chemistry involved. C11 substituents. The C11 carbonyl moiety is part of one of the conjugated ketoenol systems required for antibacterial activity. C11A substituents. In general, few modifications at the C11A position of the tetracyclines have been tolerated. 
This is probably due to the detrimental effects exerted upon the ketoenol system which is vital for magnesium cation binding and subsequent tetracycline uptake by the bacterial cell. Halogenation has been accomplished in the 6-D-methyl-6-deoxy series. The bromo analog is more potent than the corresponding chloro derivative but these compounds appear to be metabolically unstable and the observed activity is at least partially due to the parent tetracycline. The fluoro derivative is metabolically stable and the least active of the three. No compound in this series can be considered as a potent therapeutic agent due to weak antibacterial activity although halogenation can serve as a blocking agent for other chemical modifications. C12 substituents as with the C11 position, the C12 position is part of the ketoenol system that is vital for drug uptake, binding and observed antibacterial activity. There are no variations at this position. And lastly, the C12A substituents. The C12A hydroxyl group is needed for antibacterial activity although this moiety can be esterified to provide tetracyclines with increased lipophilicity. Antibacterial properties are retained if the alkyl ester is small in size and readily undergoes hydrolysis to liberate free tetracycline. Mechanism of action of tetracyclines The tetracyclines of clinical importance interfere with protein biosynthesis at the ribosomal level leading to bacteriostasis. Tetracycline inhibits protein synthesis by blocking the attachment of charged tRNA at the P-site peptide chain. Tetracycline blocks the A site so that a hydrogen bond is not formed between the amino acids. Tetracycline binds to the 30S and 50S subunit of microbial ribosomes. Thus, it prevents the formation of a peptide chain. The action is usually not inhibitory and irreversible even with the withdrawal of the drug. Mammalian cells are less vulnerable to the effect of the tetracyclines despite the fact that tetracycline binds to the small ribosomal subunit of both prokaryotes and eukaryotes that is 30S and 40S ribosomes respectively. This is because bacteria actively pumps tetracycline in even against a concentration gradient whereas mammalian cells are simply not affected by the mechanisms of tetracycline within the cytoplasm. This accounts for the relatively small off-site effect of tetracycline on human cells. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the structure activity relationships and the mechanism of action of tetracyclines. In the next video, we will discuss the individual tetracyclines. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.